Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Django course. In this episode, we are going to add a rich text editor to our dashboard. That is when someone wants to enter text here, instead of having this plain text, we can have some formatting things like bold, uh, italic, font size, color, lists, even pictures. You can even add some images here inside the text. That would be awesome. So how can we do that? Well, we need a third uh, party library. Uh, there are a lot of them out there like CK Editor or uh, Tiny CME. Uh, I've chosen Summer Note. It's very simple and uh, lightweight as well. So let's do that. Inside our uh, uh, folder, main folder, like uh, the project, we are going to install it. pip install Django dash summer note. Django dash summer note. And I've already installed it, that's why requirements satisfied. Okay, now that you've installed it, you need to introduce it to the settings and installed apps. So let's get to our settings. Where is it? Poems project settings. And right here, we're gonna add summer Django underscore summer note. Django un underscore this time, not dash underscore summer note. Okay, that is done as well. Let's close this off. Another thing we need to do, we can go to our URLs here and add the URL because we are going to have some media there as well, right? We're gonna have some images inside that text editor. That's just awesome. So we're gonna include path to summer note and uh, oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Thank you, Amazon. So, so summer note path include Django underscore summer note, the app dot URLs. So we're just gonna have access to that as well. The rest is all the same. Now let's close this off. And, oh, by the way, if you would, you see that this include is in red for you, you need to import it. So from Django dot URLs import include. Okay, now the last thing we need to do, we need to go to our models, um, sorry, admin, and introduce it in our admin dashboard because how are we going to do that there? So inside your admin dashboard, what you're gonna do is you're gonna import. So from Django um, underscore, where is it, underscore, yes, summer note, thank you, dot, admin so yes from django underscore summer uh, import summer node uh, summer node model admin yes that exactly import summer node model admin so we are going to import that one and down below we are going to create a model here we're going to say class summer admin summer admin is going to subclass summer node model admin this one here and we're gonna define summer note fields. So you can change this. You can say, what was, uh, if we go to our models, you can see here, like content and excerpt. So if you want only, for example, content to have that rich text field, you can include it here. But I'm gonna say all of them. So all the text fields, obviously. So I, I would start with a quote and then double underscore all double underscore, so it means all of them, uh, all the text fields, basically. And now I'm gonna introduce it and I register it here after. So, summer admin has been registered inside our admin now. Okay, that should be basically it. And you can also um, uh, um, prepare migrations like Python manage.py make migrations. And after you've done that, Python manage.py migrate to apply all the changes. And when everything is done, go and run the server. Python manage.py run server, everything should be good. Now if I go back and if I, you can see, if I refresh this, look at this. This is awesome. So what we have now, is I can simply uh, say this is bold text, this is italic, this is colored, 
this is list uh, list item one and I'm just going to actually I should put these inside not the excerpt I want to put them here so this is bold text so let's just press on bold italic italic colored so you can choose a background let's choose uh, green and magenta for the color and these are list items so let's just put them in a list and even image this is a great part so you can even have images here so I can choose one of these images for example this one right here and that's it so let's say which poem was it the third poem by the way so let's say okay let's do that let's save this and check it in our website you will see something weird though so you can see now we have all these html tags and inline styling here what is happening here now the thing is django is not allowing the the html code to be read as html code so you need to make sure that django knows that it's safe to do that for this so if we go to our poems like home page because we've done that to our excerpt, right? Where is our excerpt? Here. We need to make sure that it knows it's safe. So a bar and safe, that's for the excerpt. And now in our poem details, in the content, in of line breaks, also let's make sure that it is safe. So let's go back, refresh and look this is so cool now isn't it so now we have managed to add a rich text editor to our blog so it's much better now okay yes that was almost it just one more thing i'm going to add the blog uh, or poems counts as well somewhere like for example here how do i do that i'm just going to go to the views where is the views here in the home function which is responsible for home um, I have access to all the poems right so I can just simply say count I'm gonna add it to the context is equal to poems all the poems dot count so it's gonna give me the the number of poems and I'm gonna insert that in the home page so in the home page let's just say I post the weekly reviews of poems and here I can add a small tag and I would say um, uh, count that is a variable we just created poems so far so remember this count is coming from the views this count which is basically the number of poems so I'm gonna save this and go back and if I refresh you see three poems so far like this three poems so far okay so that was what I wanted to show you and in the next videos we are gonna add a lot more to this see you in the next video